The Chosen is a multi-season TV series that has been viewed all over the world. And now the show is back with a holiday special, Christmas with The Chosen. The Messengers debuts in theaters today. Creator Dallas Jenkins and musical artist Phil Wickham join us now with a preview. And guys, I was just talking with a buddy of mine last night who's watched The Chosen twice, both, you know, both seasons twice. And he talks about how wonderful it is. And I still haven't watched it, but he was excited to hear about this new program coming out. Tell us, <laughs> Dallas, why you decided to create a Christmas special. Well, The Chosen actually began with a Christmas short film that I did for my church on my friend's farm in Illinois, 20 minutes from my house. And that short film ended up going viral and being what launched the entire Chosen series. And so this is in many ways a return to our roots. But it's also an opportunity to give people something uh, in between seasons two and three to hold them off. And so uh, with Phil and other musical artists, it was an opportunity that we thought to have this Christmas special besides a brand new episode of The Chosen, which is about the birth of Christ uh, in, in this case, but to also make it like in many ways is an old, old traditional Christmas special where you've got, you know, a dozen musical artists all singing classic and new Christmas songs. So it, we just thought also the opportunity to get it into theaters was something we just thought was going to be a really cool way to do something a little bit different, but really launch the month of December in a great way. And why was it important for you to involve musical artists in this project? Well, I think when you know and love Jesus more, after you watch The Chosen, hopefully, you want to worship. And I don't think you can experience the story of the birth of Christ without wanting to sing in some way. It's mm -hmm. kind of the natural response. And Phil is, I call him the Chosen's worship leader because <laughs> uh, we've, we've known each other now for a couple of years and he's blessed me so much. So we wanted him on this special. And at the end, when we show the episode, it kind of bleeds right into him leading joy to the world, which is like the ultimate epic finale of the special. Phil, what's it like for you being the chosen one? And tell me what it's like working with the other artists and actors. <laughs> uh, man, this whole, this whole TV series has blessed my life. It's blessed my family's life. Uh, it's so full of life and so inspiring. And so when I got invited to be a part of it, I was 100% I was on board. I just, man, if you want me to hold a light, if you want me to hold a script, whatever you want me to do, I'm there to be a part of it. So to be invited in uh, to lead these songs of worship, to become friends with Dallas and the crew, uh, such a huge honor. Uh, this Christmas special, I just watched it for the first time uh, a few days ago. Man, I was so moved. Just the reality of this story that God come into earth, uh, it, it hit me in a, in a whole new way. Um, and I'm, I'm just uh, blessed, honored. Yeah, and one of the comments my friend always makes is that it's, it, it's true to the Bible, what happens in the Bible. Or, you, you know, it tells the Bible story, but you take a little creative license that, that might not be in the Bible, but it helps illuminate the story. How do you do that so well? Well, we take stories from the Bible and then we work our way backwards and around to give the historical and cultural context that you don't always get when you're reading the stories in the Bible. Some of the most famous Bible stories, uh, we, we forget that there are only two or three verses. And there's so many things that happened in between some of these stories that when you see them in this context, it doesn't detract from them, it doesn't replace them. We make it very clear the chosen is not a replacement for the Bible. But what we hear over and over, and in fact, we heard it last night when we were in the theater, is people saying, I'm reading the Bible more than ever now because of the show. And so when you hear uh, that some of this cultural and historical context and some of our creative uh, license that we take to show some of these backstories that lead you to the famous Bible stories, it really just brings it to a whole new way. And so as someone who's loved the Bible my whole life, it's not at all any <laughs> designed to, like I said, replace the Bible, but it brings you more into the story yeah. in a way that I don't think you can get just from reading. Can you tell us a little bit about the massive support you've received with the series and the Christmas special? Well, it's been extraordinary. In fact, we found out yesterday that the theatrical release uh, with the, this special has already in the pre-sales shattered Fathom Events records and, um, you know, really launched this week as a, as a big theatrical event, uh, which is 
been so cool to see it kind of disrupt the industry a little bit because people were saying, oh, the theatrical experience is dead. And it's, I think this is showing that people will go to the theater for the right project. But over the last couple of years, seeing the hundreds of millions of views has been really overwhelming. Uh, and the fact that a show that's about Christ is doing this and having this kind of reach has really been uh, an amazing experience. Phil, I want to get you in. We have five seconds. Is there a Christmas song that's going to be highlighted in this special that we can all enjoy or look forward to? Yeah, the very end of the special is called Joy to the World. It's one of my favorite Christmas songs, and we've got me and a bunch of artists that are involved all singing it live. Huge children's choir right there at the set where they film The Chosen. Um, it was an incredible moment filming it, and I can't wait for y'all to see it. Okay, we can't wait either. Thank you, Phil and Dallas, for joining us, and good luck with the special. Thank you.